If you know anything about me, you know that I love MMORPGs, which a lot of the times is a problem because they all copy each other over and over and over again, which is why I'm excited to announce that Murph 4 has sponsored today's video. They're doing it very differently. This game has some aspects to it that you're really not gonna find in any other MMORPG. Murph 4 is expanding its multiverse of games and even bringing in the hype and rewards into the real world. And I'm excited to explore it even more. Murph 4 is a little bit different because you can even earn real world rewards from your efforts by occupying mines in in-game battles to obtain Darksteel, which you can use to upgrade your items or to earn. Your most powerful characters can even be owned in new exciting ways. It was awesome to try the game out on stream with you all and experience what we made has to offer from graphics to storyline to all the intricacies of the Murph 4 world. There's a lot to love about this game. Be sure to follow Murph 4 on Twitch and check it out yourself. The link in my bio. I got to check it out the other day with S-Fan and Seer on stream. You, you might've gotten to see it. I had a whole bunch of fun. I definitely recommend checking it out. Thank you again to Murph 4 for sponsoring the stream and today's video. As the uh, former receptionist and sometimes intelligence gatherer, of the science, allow me to offer you a word of advice. Do not expect juicy rumors to simply fall in your lap. Adventurers rely on gossip and the best place to pick up information are the taverns and markets. At present, you only have a broad destination in mind. When you arrive in uh, Thavnir, I suggest you explore your options at Maride's Mayhain the finest drinking establishment in Radzit Han. Charm the employees and they'll not only point you in the direction of the local tale tellers, but also share with you the tricks for loosening their tongues. Mmm, loose tongues. Now, I really must get be getting back to running my boutique. Enjoy the journey, Rich. And may fair fortune find you. When is the subathon? Um, I need a lot of equipment before I'm ready for the subathon. Mia wants to. Mia wanted to start it yesterday. So it, it's it's on me right now. Where am I going? Good to see you playing again. Yo, thank you very much for the four months. It feels good to be back. What equipment? Your bunk bed? No, in all seriousness, I, I need, uh, I need new... Three months of fun.
We're back. God, I fucking forgot how much I love this game. Uh, 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 uh. What equipment are you missing? I need a Go XLR. I need uh, cable extenders for the headphones, as you just saw. I need uh, I need a new computer, and I need uh, I need dummy batteries for Sony A7 Mark III's, and then I'm ready. Fucking hate Rods and Han, man. <laughs> Bro, if Rods and Han didn't have good music to distract you every single fucking time you got lost, it would be the worst fucking zone in the game, bro. <laughs> Sunken Treasure Vault? We have a one regular, a historian in fact, who can tell you all about it. Too soon. <laughs> yeah, these tables used to be full. God damn it, Medion. Dude, did you guys hear Medion got bought out by Elon Musk? Ah, there he is. Professor Jalheen. I thought I saw him come in. Why did I get banned? I don't know why you can talk right now. Put a one in chat if you want to get banned. Me, Helio. Although a somewhat private sort, the professor is quick to befriend those who share his fondness of May Haynes' unique beverages. Offer him any drink from our selection, and he should happily share everything he knows about the vault you see and a few other odd bits besides. Music too loud? Oh, I turned it up. I turned it up a shitload, that's my bad. Yo, what's up, intro? What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Dude, why are you actually banning people who said please ban me? Guys, stop, stop banning them! Please! Please stop banning them. They're joking. They're joking. Please stop. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Please unban them. Please unban them. <laughs> Whatever you buy from him is on the house, by the way. I'm going to do it with an accent. Whatever you buy from him is on the house, by the way. Was that good? If 
May ride found out I took coin from Thavnir Savior, she would have me scrubbing the pots for a week. Is that good? Does that sound British? I think the music is still a little bit too loud. How about here? Is that good? Is that better? bit lower there we go is that better Jolene yes the following event cannot be skipped we back I low-key, when I hear this song, I'm like, man, something very stupid's about to happen. And what may I do for you, my Eorzean friend? Ah, Hildebrand! I want to ask you about the Sunken Vault in the Bounty. And where did you hear of such a thing? Uh, I suppose I could tell you about it. Except the tale is rather long and my throat is very dry. Yeah, I'll buy you a drink, old man. My name is Joel. Here we are, one of Meride's finest. Enjoy. Ah, lovely, bottoms up. Why is that an emo? Why is it called Joel? Joel? Joel, Joel, Joel. Jolene attempts a cup in a single pool. Start chugging. Now, where to begin? Might I assume you've heard of Alzadal? He was Khan of the Aurorai tribe, which sailed to Thavnir from the mainland, and a key figure in the history of Rods et Han. His decision to aid the Ark Asodora is, uh, is what ultimately won them the war against Gajasura, thus allowing our predecessors to lay the foundation for the thriving city-state. The truly fascinating stories, however, concern his grandson, Alzadal III, who was known for his deep his deeds as Satrap in Rods at Han's earlier days. The fuck? Some attest that this man traveled to another world entirely and returned with glittering riches. Is this Skypia? Is this literally a Skypia arc? Is that what's about to happen? Some attest that this man traveled to another world entirely and return with glittering riches. Imagine if I glittered. Other that he brokered an alliance with a certain worm of the first brood. No, I'm gonna kill that worm. Then there is the tale of the sunken bolt, the one you seem most curious about. According to this legend, Alzadal III claimed a small island somewhere in the middle of the bounty. There, he built a structure reaching clear to the bottom of the sea, a deep and secret storehouse, and locked all his worldly wealth within. In the century since, whenever a natural disaster or a hardship befell Rods at Han, folk who would remember that tale of hidden treasure, hardy souls would set out to claim their fortune, but precious few ever made it home. Would you like to hear more? Apologies. I have a slight tickle in, uh, my cup appears to be empty. Another round for the professor. Dude, this guy needs a mega pint. Ah, I see we've reached an understanding. You're a sharp one, adventurer. 
I have other uses for your throat. Another for the professor. Oh, today was a splendid day to visit the Mayhane. He gulps down his newest drink with gusto. Where were we? Ah, yes. Those who did return from seeking the treasure vault refused, I mean, fl flatly refused to speak of what they saw. Did this discourage others? Nay, quite the opposite. Such accounts only served to feed the legend, and the golden lore grew stronger than ever before. That reminds me of something... Azama was saying, Azama, a fellow connoisseur of Spiritus uh, Potables, yes, yes, he is. Anyway, he was saying that one of his acquaint uh, acquaintances went after the treasure himself. Hasn't been seen since he set sail, I hear, but he did have, uh, no, I can say no more. You seem a generous sort. What kind of man would I be to encourage that? are what is clearly a full re a full hearted request. Man, he's supposed to be the drunk one and I'm reading it like I'm the drunk one. Holy fuck, my brain. Cure me, please. How drunk am I? Am I drunk? If my words went uh, if my word sent you to your death, I could never live with myself. Dude, this fan won't work. Yo. Go home, Rich. You're drunk. Yeah, dude, the dogs are fucking annoying. If my word sent you to your death, I can never live with myself. I'm no stranger, stranger to apparel. Is that so? Perhaps it's your turn to tell the tale then. What manner of dangers have you faced? The very edge of existence? From anyone else, I'd struggle to believe it, but I recognize you now. You're the <clears throat> hero of the final days. A drink? I need another drink to settle my nerves. Mihel, more of the same, if you please. As you wish. But this one is on your coin, Professor. Jalheen drains yet another cup dry. I said, this is like Cutie Cinderella on her podcast. Anyway, you being who you are, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to share a little more. This friend of Ashima, Ashima, he was desperate to buy a treasure. Jet Blank? That's a good one, dude. If you just go bye-bye, it's because I have to click in. One which showed the way to the entrance of the vault. She, she only some merch, what's his name? Do you remember back in the days when the music cut out? It meant I was banning someone. Bah, I forget. Let's drink a toast to you, my new best friend. Aw, that's like kind of like a throwback. Here, wait, I gotta send it. Let's drink a toast to you, my new best friend, Mihel. More drinks. Who are you guys banning? Tall streamer? Who the fuck called me short? You want to get banned? Say nothing. I'm not getting him hydrated. Oof. Be right with you. Bro. 
keeps turning on like the fucking heat. It's miserable in here. Your drink, sir. Ah, marvelous. I am parched. Jolene throws back yet another cup. This guy's just getting fucking annihilated. What are you talking about, Azama? You you want to know where Azama is around this time? He's ordering our day off at that usual place. You have learned some useful information about the Undersea Vault. If Jolene were more coherent, however, you may have more details to share. Give him another drink. Why the fuck is my character on the table? Um, I'm lost. Haha! -ha! In our darkest hour, we find the light. And I can easily jump over this fence. Dude, fucking birds terrify me. Azama. Yes, I am Azama! And who might you be? I am the savior of this world. I am the warrior of varying lumens. All true, I'm afraid. My friend took a ship out to search Alazadal's legacy, and I've been waiting to hear back ever since. I tried to dissuade him, of course, but he refused to listen. All he could talk about was finding the vault. And what that uh, and that look in his eyes, I knew it wasn't common gold or jewels. He lusted after. No, he was hunting Alzadal Third's otherworldly horde, and his ambition would not be denied. I see it in you too, the appetite for the mysterious and the unknown. But I'll not attempt to turn you from your path. I know too well the futility of the endeavor. So I will tell you what my friend told me. How he convinced a merchant in the bazaar to give him the rough location of the vault's entrance. It seems his merchant, one Z Zasal, I believe, is selling a map which shows the exact route. But my friend, my friend's purse was too light for the exorbitant price. Goddamn, the music is so good. Bro, it feels good to be home. With that, with what meager wealth he had, he instead paid to learn that there are ruins on a small island somewhere in the bounty. And within those ruins hides the path to the vault deep below. If you truly intend to, on seeking Alzadal's treasure, I suggest you put your affairs in order. I wish things were different, but I do not believe my friend is ever coming home. He dead. Ah, for just one time, I would take the Northwest Passage to find the hand of Franklin. Sorry, sea shanties just popping in my head. Please, Sashal, please! You must let me have that treasure map! When are you gonna marry Mia when she beats Final Fantasy XIV and loves the story? If she doesn't, I'm done. Has Mia's foot healed a bit? Does anybody care about me? What's all this about? My mother and father were slaughtered by monsters. My baby sister, still too young to fend for herself. Can you spare us no kindness? No, really can't. What day is it? It's Friday, right? So, you hope to find your fortune? And what? You expect me to surrender my wares for pity's sake? We don't like this guy. What have you to offer in payment? As I thought, come back when you've more than rags to your name.
Did Austin showed you the voice it's acting? No oh treasure, my god, bro. It's a guide to the vaults of Arzadal the third. <laughs> One of the great saw traps of Rods at Han. And a direct descendant of Alzadal Khan. <laughs> Diaper, thank you for the 19 months. A map to Alzadal's legacy. So he says. A fake I'd wager. This is no fake. The parchment is marked with an arcane glyph of passage. You may find the ruins hidden in the bounty, but you won't be setting foot inside without this in your possession. A priceless artifact is discovered amongst the rubble in the aftermath of the final days and lovingly restored by yours truly. This map is the key to fabulous riches. But I'll be the king of fools to simply give it away. Be glad I am no such king, boy. Your scrawny eye did never return with that treasure alive. <laughs> Big laugh. Oh, cruel fate. Why must you tempt me with wealth I am powerless to claim? I'm so fucking pissed. That after all the hours I put into this game, they picked Austin Show to voice a character before me. You guys are right. How oh, I shall envy the one who purchases that Rich precious map. Whatever they pay will be but pittance against the golden hordes they stand to uncover. So this guy and the other guy are like con artists together, right? This guy's got to be the, uh, the rope. Look who it is! He'll buy anything. What of you, sir? Fighting man of your stature would surely relish the challenge of recovering Alzadal's lost fortune. A fortune, you say? <laughs> if I had but the strength to seize that treasure, my starving sister would never want for food. I'll take it. Will this cover the price? Oh my god, bro. He's worse with money than a Genshin Impact player. Yo, Twisted, thank you very much for the Prime. Lost Ark player, by the way. Yo, true. Whale Stinian. Well met, my friend. Hello, my brother. Someone is dressed for adventure. But why Favner of all places? Knowing you, I suspect there's more to your plans than sightseeing and shopping. Pierce me, Astinian. Yeah, somebody bought that guy. beneath the bounty? Curious. And here I've acquired a map to just such a site. Yeah, I have a feeling you didn't. With that sail, I do believe I've earned the rest of the day off. Thank you for your patronage, sir. But if you'll excuse me. You needn't mind us. Shop here. And now I've fleeced one of the heroes of the final days. Pray the sisters were looking elsewhere. 
Dude, he literally instantly realized he's made a mistake. You gotta be pretty bold to fucking rob somebody that you can literally end Armageddon. Imagine pissing it's off somebody that you know can literally genuine. demolish you. Either way, we'll need a ship to find out for sure. Yeah, usually the maps that just have one red circle on them are genuine. You seem eager to be underway. I never took you for a treasure hunter. Lest you misunderstand, I seek the treasure not for myself. But for the boy who just robbed me. If such a fortune truly exists, then it could help ease the struggles of those who lost their loved ones in the final days. Trying to do the right thing, got robbed. No good deed goes unpunished, baby. I hope to do for Thavnir what you and Alphano did for the Alamegans when you recovered the Mad King's trove. Yo, thank you, Stoolner. Thank you, St Stu Stoiler. Stoiler! Thank you, Stoiler. Stoiler. That was very hard to read your name. Bro, I love Estinian. You know Alphano needs little encouragement when it comes to recounting the tales of your shared exploits. Speaking of precocious lads, that boy in the bazaar was clearly an accomplice of the merchant. Suppose his role was to draw the attention of the crowd and add weight to the merchant's bold claims. Bro, how the fuck did Estinian know that he was getting conned and still allowed himself to be conned? Wait, why, why would he get conned and still do it? Transparent act for the most part. It was not all mummery. The need to provide for his sister rang true enough. Thus, if some portion of the profits end up in that waif's pockets, then I will consider it money well spent. Whether the map leads us to the vault or not. And this is why I would suck a Stinian's dick, reason number 838. Why didn't you just give the kid the money, bro? It's because it's like a higher form of helping somebody. He wants that person to feel like they earned it. And that wasn't a handout. Bro, I would suck him dry. Wait, what's reason 837? The way he smiles. Any other questions? Man, he said Vitra. He said devour his cum. But I would like to devour your cum, sir. You are coming along, yes? Excuse me, Dr. Strange spoiler? Naturally. Adventure music. I thought as much. Now, let's see about securing a vessel. You know what? I think the next expansion is going to be good. He heard everything. He's a thief and an eavesdropper. Kill him! I feel so relaxed and 
Coast, Coast Guard pissed. Real, man. The Coast Guard pissed. Here, man. Coast Guard what pissed. What a real man. Coast Guard real pissed. Me in, man. Coast Guard I pissed. I wish I was the guy on your line. Coast Guard pissed. Coast Guard but pissed. instead, I just Coast motherfucking cry. Alone at night, wish I could be your little smooth.